Microsoft Windows 95 was perhaps many people's first encounter with the Windows operating system. Upon its release on the 24th of August 1995, Windows 95 sported a whole new user interface that departed drastically from that of its predecessor, Windows 3.1. With Windows 95, Microsoft wanted to concentrate on maximising the usability of the Windows interface for consumers, with a particular focus on making the setup process and system and network configuration easier for users. The company was also wary of the recent launch of IBM's OS2 operating system, which came with support for 32-bit applications and preemptive multitasking. This was all while still being able to run smoothly on common, low-end hardware that was likely to be owned by consumers. Thus, Microsoft knew that they needed a new version of Windows that could compete with OS2. The road to a completed product began at least as far back as March 1992, at a time when Windows NT, the basis of all versions of Windows after Windows Millennium Edition, was still in development. At this time, the operating system was known inside Microsoft circles simply as Chicago, with no final name yet decided. Although it also became referred to, perhaps unsurprisingly, as Windows 4.0. The projected release date for Chicago was set for 1993. The eventual decision to name the operating system after the year of its release was made at an unknown stage during development and for unknown reasons. However, Build 189 from September 1994 is thought to be the first to identify itself as Windows 95, confirming a decision on this name at least nine months before development finished. Windows 95 was released with great fanfare, including a marketing campaign that relied heavily on the Rolling Stones 1981 hit Start Me Up, a reference to the operating system's all-new start menu interface. Many of the basic elements of the Windows user interface introduced with Windows 95 remain fundamentally unchanged almost two decades later and can be found functioning today in Windows 8.1. This includes the traditional desktop, the taskbar, Windows Explorer File Manager, application shortcuts and the ability to right click to perform secondary functions in programs. In this series of videos I aim to explore the development of Windows 95 from the earliest known stages of its production in early 1992 through to its release to manufacturing in August 1995. Please enjoy the videos.